Now let's display one alert box or alert dialog box when the user tries to log in into the app and the user has not verified its email address. So in that case, we cannot let the user log in into the app and instead we will show one alert box intimating the user that the user cannot log in and we will have one button to open the email app from where the user can verify their email and then quickly come back to the app so get inside the login method and uh, coming inside this on complete method and inside this if statement when the task was successful first of all we need to get the instance of the current user who is trying to log in so for that we will use the firebase user variable And then using the auth profile that is the firebase authentication variable we will get the current user then after getting the current user we will check whether the user has verified the email address or not so if the email address is verified then we will display one toast message and then we will open the user profile that is the user profile activity and in case the email is not verified we will send one email verification link to the user and then we will sign out the user And after signing out the user, we will show the alert dialog box. So I will just name it as show alert dialog. And then I will create a method for this in the login activity. Alright. Then first we need to set up the alert builder. So we need to use alert dialog dot builder. space builder equals new alert dialog dot builder and the parameter that it takes is the context and the context here is the login activity then builder dot set title here we will set the title for the alert box then we need to set the message so builder dot set message then for the positive button of the alert dialog box we will set it to open the email app So builder dot set positive button and the text that we will display for the positive button is continue then comma new dialog interface then just hit enter then within the on click method that is when the positive button or the continue button is clicked we will have to open new intent so we will define the intent here so intent space intent equals new intent then within bracket intent dot action main so action main is considered an entry point for the application and usually it combines with category launcher in an intent filter to indicate an activity that should appear in the home screen's launcher or in anything else that considers itself to be a launcher then intent dot add category intent dot category app email since we want to open the email apps so in case if you have many email apps on your phone and you run this app on your phone then the android is going to display the list of those email apps to choose from 
but since in our emulator we have only one email app so it won't give any option and instead it will directly open the gmail app anyways we will see that later then intent dot add flags flag activity new task we are adding this flag so that the email app is opened in a new window and not within our app let's say we open the email app after clicking on the continue button and if we click on the back button it's going to close our app also so we don't want that to happen we want the email app to open as a new window and not within our firebase app so that when we close the email app we return back to our firebase app and then we will just start the activity with the intent that we just defined then we need to create the alert box or the alert dialog box using builder.create then after that we just have to show it so alert dialog dot show so let's try to run it again and you can see the alert box it's showing email not verified and let's click on the continue button and the gmail has opened up just as i explained it earlier since we don't have many email apps on the emulator so the gmail app is going to be opened directly without giving us any option to choose from and on pressing the back button in the gmail app our firebase app will be opened again all right now we need to check whether the user is already logged in or not if the user is logged in we don't have to let the user visit the login page instead in the home page when the user clicks on login button we can directly take the user to the user profile activity so let's do that 